Would it be correct that you stated in the previous hearing na only the Vice President know where the confidential funds went? Uh, what I, I was asked, uh, Mr. Chair, I was asked, uh, Your Honor, I think by Representative Castro, if I knew anything about it. And I said na uh, sa totoo, wala po talaga akong kinalaman sa management or operation ng confidential funds. Tinanong niya, eh kung hindi ikaw sino? So I said, uh, just the, well, I would assume the signatories, Your Honor. Saan, hey, because you answered the question under oath. Yes, Your Honor. And therefore, you stated the name of the Vice President. Uh, uh, that they, they're the only ones who know where the confidential funds went. Eh kasi, kung titignan ko yung statement po ninyo, ay eh, kung wala nang ibang nakakalam kung saan napunta yung pondo, ay eh, dadalawang bagay lang ang nangyari. Either, ibinulsa eh, ni VP o ginamit sa ibang bagay. Would you agree, Koa? Kasi, hindi naman napunta dun sa totoo eh. Kung naibulsa, masama. Ninaka muna eh, di ba? Ngayon, kung ginamit sa iba, technical malversation yun. Kaya sigurado ako, hindi napunta sa tama rin yung pondo. There are only two things na pinuntaan yung pondo. Nagamit sa iba o ibinulsa. Eh, ito po ay pinapanood ng taong bayan na kinakailangan maunawaan po nila na itong pondong ito, whether confidential po ito o hindi, eh nagastos na po ito. Hindi pa ito gagastusin. Nagastos na po ito eh. Ang nais nating malaman kung paano ito nagastos. Tungkulin po natin yan sa kumiting ito na alamin upang malaman po ng taong bayan na yung paggastos po ng pondo na nanggaling sa mga taxpayers ay tama at naayon sa mandato na ibinigay sa office ng pangalawang pangulo. Kaya gusto ko rin i-air ang warning na ito muli. Ha? Pag hindi pa sila nagpunta sa pang panglimang pagkakataon, eh ako na po ay eh magmo-motion to, to uh, issue a contempt order on them. Sobrang nakakagulat na balita. Grabe, abogadong kasama ni VP Sara na paamin ni Congressman Romeo Acop binulsa ng VP ang confidential fund. Ayon sa nakalap nating impormasyon, binalaan ng Congress si VP Duterte ipapakulong. Pag hindi pa umatend ang VP sa hearing nila, apat na beses na kasi nila hindi sinasagot ang patawag ng Kongreso. Binalaan na ang office ng VP ipapakulong na sila sa panglima. Napilitang tuloy umamin ang kasama ni VP Abogado, inamin binubulsa ng VP ang confidential fund. Tara, panoorin natin. Would it be correct that you stated in the previous hearing na only the Vice President and the SDO know where the confidential funds went? Based did, on the documents, Your Honor, I would assume so. Did you state that? Uh, what I, I was asked, uh, Mr. Chair, I was asked, uh, Your Honor, I think by Representative Castro, if I knew anything about it. And I said na... Uh, sa totoo, wala po talaga akong kinalaman sa management or operation ng confidential funds. So, if I remember correctly, the transcripts would uh, probably bear me out. Tinanong niya, eh kung hindi ikaw sino? So, I said, uh, just the, well, I would assume the signatories, Your Honor, uh, of the certifications and um, of the other documents. And uh, she asked me who? So, I said the SDO and probably the head of agency. So, yung, yung sagot po ninyo, it's a presumption. Well, Your Honor, kasi hindi ko po alam kung saan... Hey, because you answered the question under oath. Yes, Your Honor. And therefore, you stated the name of the Vice President and the Special Dis Dispersing Officer. Uh, uh, that they, they're the only ones who know where the confidential funds went. Uh, that, that, is, that is correct, Your Honor. No? That because is why I asked based you... Based on the documents. Uh, yes. Whether you stated this statement in the last hearing. Yes, Your Honor. But just to... I think just to clarify, I mentioned it was based on the documents, Your Honor, because the both documents would point that way. Because, kung titing na ko yung statement po niyo, ay kung wala nang ibang nakakalang kung saan napunta yung pondo, ay dadalawang bagay lang ang nangyare, di ba? Kasi either ibinulsa nung ni VP o ni STO o ginamit sa ibang bagay ni VP at sa kanya STO, di ba ba? 
Uh, Your Honor, please. I wasn't. Uh, I, but I wasn't alluding to that, Your Honor. I was. Asking, pardon? I wasn't alluding to that, Your Honor. If uh, I may no, beg your actually, indulgence, Opo. Uh, Opo, correct me if I'm wrong. Di ba? Yung pondo allocated sa office. Tama. Nagkas advance sila from land bank. Tama. Land bank. Nagkas advance sila don. Di nara sa opisina. Ang makaalam na lang doon ay yung uh, head of office or head of agency at saka yung special dispersing officer. Tama. Di ba ba? At yung special dispersing officer, yun yung mag-a-allocate kung saan pupunta yung gagastusin yung pondo. Di po ba? Sagutin niyo ako. Kawa. Do you agree with me? Yes. Pakisabi sa mic para marinig po lahat. Uh, with your permission, Your Honor, I, yes po, Your Honor. Yes. And therefore, kung yung liquidation or clearing process ay uh, hindi totoo at bogus, ibig sabihin na gamit yung pera sa ibang bagay. Would you agree with me, Kowa? Uh... Well, uh, based on your uh, statement, Your Honor, and based on the, which you said that uh, the liquidation or the documents are bogus, so we presume that the funds, no other evidence presented, were illegally disbursed. Hindi po ba kayo kumbinsido sa mga sagot ninyo at saka sa mga katanungan na aking mga kasama na yung DEPs or Documentary Evidence of Payments or... Uh, uh, acknowledgement receipts ay puro may diferensya? Di po ba? And therefore, pag yung liquidation instruments, part of your clearing process or liquidation process ay mali-mali na, ay saan na punta yung pera? Tell me. Dalawang bagay lang po. Kasi ang dami ko na naimbestigan na ganito nung nasa polis ako eh. Tsaka sa PCINP. Oo. Oh. Diba? Either ibinulsa or ginamit sa iba. Either way, mali. Di po ba? Would you agree, Kowa? Uh, if the liquidation po is bogus. Um... Kasi hindi naman napunta doon sa totoo eh. Doon sa, uh, doon sa clearing instruments na pinigay. Di ba? Kung naibulsa, masama. Ninaka muna eh, di ba? Ngayon, kung ginamit sa iba, technical malversation yun. Would you agree with me, attorney? Um, that is assuming it was not used as confidential expense. Eh, oh. mali na nga yung clearing instrument sa liquidation process eh. Yung mali yung pag-clear at saka pag-liquidate, what is your conclusion? Uh, that the funds were not used as Confidential. Supposed to be used. To, as, as it is supposed to be used. It's supposed to be used. Yes. That is the logical conclusion. Di po ba? Would you agree with me, Madam? Tony? Personal opinion, yes, Mr. Chair. Huh? Personal opinion po, Mr. Chair, yes. I would have to agree. Ewan ko. Pero kasi sa dami na naimbestigahan ko, ganun ang nakikita ko eh. Kayo naman, ang tagal nyo na sa COA, hindi nyo pa rin nakikita yon. Diba? Kasi if, if your liquidation or clearing process is wrong, hindi definitely yung kung saan pinunta yung pera, hindi po dun sa tama. Could you give me an instance na mali yung liquidation process, tama yung pinuntahan ng pera? Pursuant to your guidelines, Uh, yun nga po, Mr. Chair, personal opinion, um, the, if, if the confidential funds were not used as it is intended to be used, it's already technical mal malversation. Yes, kasi kitang-kita naman na uh, yung paggamit po nila sa pondo, eh parang nilegalize lang nila from sa, uh, by their submission to you, yung DEPs nila, 
o kaya ARs or Acknowledgement Receipts. Di ba? Na mali-mali. Would you agree with me? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, thank you. Kasi yun ang nakikita ko na nangyari, eh, process eh. Nag-withdraw sa land bank dahil nandun yung pondo na confidential fund. <coughs> Di nala sa opisina yung SDO. Uh, hindi ko alam. Kaya nga hinahanap namin yung SDO para tanuhin namin kung saan napunta eh. Paano niya inallocate yung pondo eh. But as it is, yung liquidation instruments ay mali-mali po eh. Kaya sigurado ako, hindi napunta sa tama rin yung pondo. There are only two things na pinuntaan yung pondo. Nagamit sa iba o ibinulsa. So ayaw nyo matanggap yun. Ako kaya kong tanggapin. Kasi marami na akong dinaanan ng investigasyon. Na ganun. Kung natameme kayo? Ha? Di ba? Could you please tell us? Kasi marami nangyayari ganito eh. Which I think you know. Kasi hindi lang naman hindi lang naman doon sa OBP yan. Tingin ko. Okay? So uh, uh, pwede po bang malaman <coughs> uh, yun pong mga certification <coughs> na ginamit po yung uh, security group ni Vice President. Tinanggap din po ninyo. Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi po. Yung uh, proof sa rewards ni OVP, uh, hindi po. Yes. Kaya po na-disallow yung payment of rewards. Sa DepEd? Sa DepEd po kasi um, parang na-deem namin na independent party yung Uh, nagbigay ng certification. So, Paki, pakilapit lang yung... Um, since na din namin na independent na group yung nag-issue ng certifications, we uh, accepted the uh, certifications. So, tinanggap ninyo? Opo, Mr. Chair. Yung, yung certification galing doon sa office ng Vice President Security Group? Uh, hindi po. Yun ang hindi po namin tinanggap since... Um, parang kasama din po ng OVP po yun eh. Pero yung sa DepEd po kasi, um, ibang party na po kasi yung nag-issue ng mga certifications. Ayun ah, yung natanong na nung last year yes, mga uh, Philippine Army ko eh, units. Yes, Mr. Chair. Na nag-conduct ng Youth Leadership Summit. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> But would you agree with me that the uh, office of the Vice President is separate from the office of the VPSG? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, but um, they are the group that is um, specifically, um, it's like yung PSG po ni President na specific na naka-assign kay VP po. Okay, yeah. Kaya lang. Kaya nga. And would you agree with me also that uh, uh, the uh, office of the uh, security group of the Vice President uh, would have their own funds? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, and therefore, would not need the confidential funds coming from the Secretary of the uh, Department of uh, Education and from the Office of the Vice President. Would you agree with me? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, thank you. Uh, wala kasi dito yung mga kwanis. Dapat yun ang tatanuing. Eh. Now, uh, are you aware na... Uh, there were 787 acknowledgement receipts uh, where uh, uh, there were no names, but there were signatures. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. You're aware of that. And there were 302 uh, ARs that had unreasonable names. Would you agree also? Um, unreasonable names, Mr. Chair. Unreadable. Ah, unreadable. Um, yes, Mr. Chair. Then there were five names repeated. Uh, that was not an observation, Mr. Chair. Yung, yung repeated names po, hindi po namin naging observation. Hindi nyo nakita yun. Okay. And uh, in so far as the uh, confidential fund of the uh, Department of Education is concerned, 
yung yung location ng uh, uh, where the YLS uh, were conducted did not match locations uh, where information to support this YLS were supposedly bought. Would you agree with that? Um, yes, Mr. Chairman. Specific uh, areas po yung certification. Yes. Now, would you also agree that there were uh, identical entries, amount expended, and number of receipts for uh, the second and third quarter of 2023 for entries on provision of medical and food aid? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, it's not very unusual naman po. Since uh, it's not very unusual naman po since pwede naman po talaga mangyari. So, usual na. yung nangyayari yun? Hindi naman po usual, pero hindi naman siya ganun ka-unusual. Oh, sige. Whether it's usual or unusual, is it in accordance with the joint circular? Um, sa joint circular po kasi, documentary evidence of payment lang po ang requirement. Sa pakisagot lang yung tanong. Uh, whether usual or unusual, is it in accordance with your uh, joint circular? Uh, since the document was submitted You po, think yes, they are? Po, yes. So it's your opinion? Yes. Okay, true. thank you. Uh-huh. May we go to yung kwan, yung uh, uh, acknowledgement receipts or DEPs. Now, uh, we have examined yung DEPs or acknowledgement receipt, uh, which were used to liquidate the confidential funds. Uh, and I would like, Mr. Chair, to make the following statements from, uh, from the examination. Uh, may nakita po na mga acknowledgement receipts uh, that all appear to be signed by the same pen. Would you agree with that also? Madam Kawa? Um, yes, Mr. Chair. Since either blue or black po yung... Yes. Kaya nga. Makikita po natin ito sa color ng game. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Uh, which is a very distinct shade of blue na my shades of black. Uh, I think it's there, shown. Yan di po ba yung acknowledgement receipt na sa inyo? Yes, Mr. Chair. And uh, wala po kayong napansin? Uh, yung na-note ni note lang po namin is yung mga uh, iba ang date, yung mga unsigned. Yun po, Mr. Chair. Ganon. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh -huh. Mr. Chair, I would just like to manifest that all these uh, acknowledgement receipts are under the names of different persons, pero wala po dyan yung naulit. Diyan po sa sampo na yan. Uh, but if we look at it, uh, the names and signatures of different persons appear to be written with the same pen with a distinct ink on different dates. Uh, I think this is highly irregular. Bilang, bilang ako, isang investigador. Uh, now, Madam Attorney, you confirm that you have received these acknowledgement receipts as part of the submissions of the Office of the Vice President to liquidate their confidential funds? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Okay. Now, would you agree with me that these 10 acknowledgement receipts appear to be written with the same color of ink? Yes? Uh, like I said, sir, it's either blue or black po kasi yung ink. So... Gusto ko lang malaman yung sagot po ninyo. Yes, Mr. Thank Chair. Uh, and this is a distinct shade of blue na almost black para may gradient po siya. Tama? I cannot remember. Kaya nga ikaw, sabi mo, sagot mo, it's either blue or black eh. Kasi parang naglalaro yung ink na ginamit sa blue or black. Yes, Mr. Chair. Common yes. naman po yun na nakikita naman either blue or black ang signature. When you say common, sa lahat po ba ng opisina na inaudit niyo, ganyan? Either blue or black, yes, Mr. Blue Chair. or black din. Sa lahat ng opisina ng gobyerno na inaudit niyo. Yes, Mr. Chair. Like, kami rin, sir, either blue or black po ang ginagamit namin. Huh? Either blue or black din po yung ginagamit namin. Yeah. And I would like to show kung ano yung, yung ink dun sa pag-imbestiga namin. Eh. Yan. Yung kulay. It's uh, Prussian blue. Would you confirm that this is the same or very similar color as, color as the ones in the ARs that were submitted to you? Hindi ko na maalala ang itsura, Mr. Chair. Ah, okay. 
<laughs> Tingnan po natin yung kwan. Yung uh, pinirmahan ni uh, uh, assistant or ASEC or Tonyo. Hindi po ba parehas yung pinakita ko na Prussian Blue? Mukhang parehas, Mr. Chair. Ha? Mukha pong parehas. Parehas. So, it's the same ink used by ASEC uh, Lemuel or Tonyo. Uh, the Assistant Chief of Staff of the Office of the Vice President. Tama? Mukha pong pareho, Mr. Chair. No. Now, Mr. Chair, uh, there had been also observations that there are acknowledgement receipts which bear the same or similar handwriting. Parehas po ang handwriting. Na, may nakita rin po ba kayong ganon, Madam Attorney? Na halos parehas ang handwriting doon sa mga ARs? Hindi naman po kami experts sa handwriting, Mr. Chair. Ah, hindi naman kailangan ng expert para makita ko minsan yan eh. Ah, Comsec, pwede ba ipakita yung kwan? Yung picture ng halos parehas ng kwan? Ng uh, handwriting? Yung uh, AR dated July 27, 2023 and July 25, 2023? Pwede ipakita? No problem. Hindi may ikwan. Sir, may I be acknowledged while we're waiting for ICTS to fix the technical problem? Yes, Comsec, you're acknowledged. Your Honor, we would like to recognize Honorable Julian Jam Baronda, Deputy Majority Leader from the Lone District of Iloilo City, and Honorable Crispin Diego Ping Remulla, Vice Chairperson from the 7th District of Cavite, Your Honors. Attorney, bago natin kasi nagkakaroon ng technical problem, pwede bang magtanong din ako ng, kasi hindi ako naliliwanagan dito sa, kwan eh, yung uh, the uh, there, there, there is a deficiency, I think, that you have noted, that the payment of rewards to informers must be supported with documents evidencing the success of the information gathering and or surveillance activities on account of the information given by the informer. Yes. Ito po yung ginamit dun sa yung YSL. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Ano po yung, ano po yung, ang, ang aking pagkaintindi rito, correct me if I'm wrong, na dapat may makuha ng information na ginamit yung confidential fund and that an activity was conducted because of that information and that information gathering and that activity were successful. Yes, Mr. Chair. Tama po ba yung pagkaintindi ko? Tama pa, Mr. Chair. Now, if I may ask, how would you know or how would you be able to find out na merong information na nakuha muna before they have conducted their YSL? Um, wala po kaming information on that. So, either may separate sila as part ng purchase of information and then separate yung rewards or Nabayaran na siya, same with the rewards. Pero requirement po nyo yun, di ba? Requirement na circular. Yeah. Kaya po yung, ano, yung additional that requirement. Is, that is precisely the reason why you will justify the buying of information. Yes, which Mr. would lead Chair. to a successful event or operation. Yes, Mr. Chair. Di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Kasi ginagawa rin namin nung nasa-service ako yun eh. I know that. Yes, Mr. Pero Chair. Pero parang pagkaidili ko sa inyong... Uh, uh, clearing instruments parang parang hindi just because there was a certification that the YSL uh, uh, YLS pala uh, were successful. Tama na yun. Parang ganun ang pagkaintindi ko. Samantalang nung kami ang nasa servisyo, ang requirement is that 
ipapakita namin na may information kaming binayaran and because of that information, an operation was conducted and it was successful. Hindi ba dapat ganun? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Pero in the case of the confidential fund of the OBP and the DepEd, hindi ko nakikita yon. Uh, yun nga po, kaya pinag-require, ni-require namin sila mag-submit ng additional documents. And yung nag-review po, uh, naging sufficient na po yung certification from the, yung five certifications. And that is enough to, 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 uh, to show na tama po yung ginawa nila just because nag-submit sila ng certification that uh, YLS uh, was conducted and it was successful. Um, Di ba ang, ang concept dapat nun is you use confidential fund to buy information and because of that information bought or acquired, you conduct an operation. Yes, and Mr. that Chair. operation should turn successful. Yes, Mr. Chair. E, ganun po yung requirement sa amin nun na servisyo kami. Intelligence fund. Yes, Basically, Mr. they are the same. Tama po, Mr. Chair. So, e, e, bakit po naniwala kayo kung certification lang na successful yung pagkondak ng YSL? Ay, since yan nga po, uh, independent na agency po yung nagbigay ng certification, and sabi naman po niya na because of the of the YLS na wala pong na-influence ng mga bata, we deemed it um, successful. Compared po dun sa yung sabi niyo po kanina na yung sa VP SPG Group, uh, ang sinabit lang po nila was a listing of the activities of the Vice President. Which is, wala naman pong information kung may success ba na may successful activity ba na nagawa because of the information they have gathered. Yun yung sa security sa, group. Yes, Mr. Chair. And uh, is, there, is there any way that you will determine that the confidential fund of the uh, OVP and DepEd, uh, these funds were used sa activity ng, uh, ng VPS uh, security group? Kasi they have their own funds. That was the first question I asked you a while ago. Yes, Mr. Chair. That the presidential security group and, the, uh, and part of that is the Vice President Security Group. May pondo po sila eh. Naka-allocate talaga. Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, but they were not able to show, if, I'm, uh, if I will appraise yung uh, documents, they were not able to show that confidential funds of the OVP and the DepEd were used in such activities. Yes, Can Mr. you see Chair. that they were used? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Kaya nga po, uh, hindi naman siya na-consider since yung list of activities lang po ang sinabmit nila which is alam nila since sila naman po yung kasama ni VP sa mga activities na yun but anyway uh, may hindi pa rin yata tapos page pwede na sir pwede na show nga yung kwan yung acknowledgement receipts dated July 27 tsaka July Because I will ask questions. Okay. Did you notice na isa lang ang gumawa nito? Um, Mr. Chair, sorry, tinignan oh, ko lang. Yan lang sinasabi ko eh. Kaya tingnan mo. You observe it properly. Ayan na. Ah. Okay na. Ayan. Nakita mo? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, would you confirm that this were submitted to your office? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Now, if you observe, uh, can you observe the letter J? Tama po ba na halos parehas yung letter J dyan? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes? Tama rin po ba na parehas din yung color ng ink na ginamit at saka yung lapad po ng pagkasulat? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Would you... 
be able to state, Madam Attorney, na this, these two receipts were written by the same person? Uh, probably, Mr. Chair. Probably. Pero these are two different acknowledgement receipts indicating different dates yes, and Mr. indicating Chair. different pages. How can that be? Pwede naman pong either, either of those two persons wrote the same and then someone else So, that signed. is regular? Ah, mm, no. I'm not saying regular po, pero Hindi ito na happen. Hindi nga, tinatanong ko nga is, uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng observation. Now, yes, would, do you think this is regular? Mm. No. No. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, pakikita po natin dito na there are certain things na irregular in so far as the uh, DEPs or acknowledgement receipts submitted by the two offices doon po sa COA. Now, I would like to point uh, again another observation which uh, we have made. Uh, this time, an acknowledgement receipt with the name KV that repeats in OVP and DepEd, uh, DepEd uh, acknowledgement receipts. Kindly show yung uh, OVP at saka DepEd acknowledgement receipts. O, oh, parehas lang yan. Nandun sa OVP, nandun pa sa DepEd. Hindi nyo napansin ito. Hindi po, Mr. Chair, since na-audit siya ng magkaibang time. Okay. Pero, would you confirm that uh, the two ARs uh, parehas ang pangalan na KV? Hindi uh, ko na maalala yung exact document, Mr. Chair. Sige, yeah. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, uh, again, Mr. Chair, uh, pwede po bang ipakita natin yung, yung last uh, AR dated 12-30-2022? Sinabit din pa ito sa inyo? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Huh? Yes. Yes. Basta lahat po nang sinabmit namin po, Mr. Chair, sa inyo, galing sa amin po. Oh, sige. Yun ang binigay nyo sa committee. Yes, Mr. Tama, Chair. Na, nabasa namin. Yes, Mr. Yes. Chair. Yes. The, uh, the name would read, tama po ba, Mary Grace Piatos? Piati? Ha? Huh? Piati? Piatos. Piati? Ang pagkabasa ko, Piatos eh. Why po yung last? Why? In the S? Uh, may ano po siya eh. Ayan o, di na mo. Uh, why po? Since masyada nang mababa yung tail. Okay. Now, sa tingin mo, totoong tao yan? What's your opinion? <laughs> It could be a person. could be a person. Pero, would you know na merong restaurant na Mary Grace ang pangalan? Yes, Mr. Chair. Cafe At meron ding piatos na brown ng potato chips? Yes, Mr. Chair. Would you know that? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, anyway. Uh, at least, uh, alam mo rin pala mga ngayon. Now, Mr. Chair, uh, I would just like to repeat what I've said a while ago na everything na tinanong ng aking mga kasamahan uh, tungkol sa documentary evidence of payments or acknowledgement receipts ay karamihan po ay hindi po totoo. And therefore, if hindi po totoo, hindi natin malalaman kung saan talaga napunta yung pondo, yung confidential fund, until and unless we would be able to grill yung mga, yung dalawang uh, SDOs. 
the SDO of the Office of the Vice President and the SDO of the Department of Education. Si, si, no? si Madam Acosta yata at saka yung isa. So, we can only we can only surmise, Mr. Chair, na yung pondo, dalawa lang ang pupuntahan na nun eh. Uh, kagaya ng sabi ko, sa busa or nagamit po sa ibang bagay, both hindi po tama. Kasi kung ginamit sa ibang bagay, and I think the lawyers of uh, CO would uh, agree with me that there's technical malversation. Kasi iba ang purpose ng pondo, ginamit sa iba. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Marami pong salamat sa opportunity. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Akop. Uh, the Chair would like to recognize the Deputy Speaker, J.J. Suarez. Uh, maraming maraming salamat, Mr. Chair. Kanina ho ay uh, pinakikinggan ko po yung mga katanungan ng ating mga kasamahan dito sa committee. Kasama na rin po yung mga tanong ni Congressman Romy Akop. Uh, nakakapagbalik tanaw po tayo ng kaunti at naalala ko po yung panahon na nagkakaroon ng Senate hearing sa Napoles na parang ganito ganito din yung mga lumalabas na maraming mga acknowledgement receipts na di umano, fabricated, di umano, gawa-gawa, at parang hindi po may paliwanag kung paano po ito tumutugma base po doon sa pondong nailaan para sa kanya. Um, gusto ko lang po tanungin yung COA, uh, base po doon sa ilang mga acknowledgement receipts na ipinakita sa atin ng ating mga kasamahang mambabatas, Meron po kami napansin doon na parang dalawang daan na acknowledgement receipts na signature lang, walang pangalan. Ito po ba ay pumapasa sa uh, qualifications ng Commission on Audit? Um, for, for now, sir, ina-accept namin yung signature lang. Although, um, from here onward, siguro po, um, require namin na name and name at least name and yeah. signature. Because I think we really have to look into this matter strictly. Kasi pag sinabi mong acknowledgement receipt, tumatanggap ka. Yes, may may meron kang tinatanggap na pera, goods or services from government. Yes, and how can you substantiate if that person in that acknowledgement receipt exists kung signature lang? So, is there any COA uh, memorandum or uh, policy when it comes to uh, acknowledgement receipt guidelines? Um, for now, uh, since ina-accept po naman yung signatures lang, uh, wala po kaming ibang basis kundi yung sa joint circular. But uh, we will try to, ano, um, uh, barang supplemental na po yung mga ibang COA issuances. No, no, my I question, ma'am, is, is there a policy by COA when it comes to requirements of acknowledgement receipts? What are the requirements in that paper so that COA can deem them unacceptable? Uh, may I be permitted to speak, Your Honor? Yes, uh, Ms. Sofia Gemora, you're recognized by the Chair. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, as to the regular audit, I'm, I'm bearing away with the confidential fund because it has a joint circular, you know, uh, as a parameter. So in, in COA, uh, pardon me, or I, I, I cannot recall the memorandum, but we have this uh, rule that uh, we can uh, reimbursable expense, uh, the, what you call RER, receipt. Reimbursable expense receipt is, an, is acceptable up to 1,000 pesos and below. Other than that, of course, we need, as it is now, an invoice. And if any... Uh, what's this uh, signature? It would, of course, accompany the full name of the recipient or those that signed on, on the particular uh, receipt. Yeah, thank you very much. Actually, that's the memo that I was pointing out to uh, Ms. Remora. Meron po talaga kasi yun sa COA na kinikailangan full name ang nakasulat doon. At nabasa ko na rin po yun. Kaya nga po nakakapagtaka uh, dito po sa... 612 million pesos 
where acknowledgement receipts were submitted by the Office of the Vice President and by the DepEd Secretary then, um, ang dami po talagang red flags na nakita po ng committee. So unang-una ho, signature lang. Pangalawa ho, merong migrant benef beneficiaries. When I say migrant beneficiaries, they receive funds from the confidential funds of the DepEd and they receive funds from the confidential funds of the Office of the Vice President. Other than that, there are also instances where individuals receive funds many times, numerous times, from the confidential funds. Other than that, may instances din po na nakita namin na yung mga safe house na lang po na binanggit ni Chairman, parang hindi po namin masyadong uh, maunawaan kung paano ka gagastos ng 15 million pesos per quarter on safe houses under the office of the Vice President, bukod pa po doon yung safe houses na binabayaran din under Secretary of Education. So of course, um, documentary requirements are submitted to you. But you know, this, um, Mr. Chair, raise a lot of questions and red flags from my from my point of view kaya nga po um, nakakalungkot na wala po dito yung mga SDO at saka si Miss Lopez na nalaman po pala natin ay umalis po kagabi papuntang uh, Los Angeles, California because these are questions that they should actually be answering am i right uh you said po up these are questions that they should be answering. Based on the documents, Your Honor. Based on the documents, correct. Because they're the signatories to the documents. So, with that being said, um, siguro para sa COA, tulungan nyo na lang kami. I think we need to come up with um, better guidelines, uh, especially when it comes to requirements of um, acknowledgement receipts so that ito pong mga pagmamagic na nangyayari ay hindi po mangyari dahil ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito ay pera ng mamamayan. Hindi naman ito pera ng isang tao, pera ito ng Pilipino na dapat po natin inaalagaan. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Congressman Abante, you're recognized. Uh, gusto kong malaman kung tapos ng, tapos ng investigasyon ng COA dito sa Notice sa Disallowances na inyong binigay sa Office ng Vice President. Tapos na po ba lahat ng investigasyon? Uh, Mr. Chair, dun sa notice of disallowance, um, inaantay pa po namin kung mag-a-appeal sila. So, hindi pa po final. Yung iba pong mga audit observation memoranda na issued po nila, nagsubmit na po sila ng compliance and yun po yung mga pinag-aaralan po namin ngayon. Okay. So, hindi pa kayo tapos na po? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Ilang prosyento na po ang natapos nyo? Uh, for example, like, so, mayroon naman 50% or 60% or 70%? Um, considering po na gusto niyong magpaka-strict kami today, uh, may mga nire-re-audit po kami and um, hindi pa po namin ma-issue yung next, which is yung notice of suspension. Okay. So, uh, hindi niyo maaaring masabi kung ilang prosyento na ho, lahat? Um, Mr. Chair, uh, Parang tatlong tao po yung, tatlong ibang team members yung iba-ibang AOM. So, hindi po, hindi ko po masabi ngayon yung exact na, um, yung status na po ng... Sa mga natapos po ninyo, Mr. Chair, meron ba kayong nakita ng uh, uh, improper disbursement o mga violations po ng disbursement ng confidential fund? Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi ko pa po nare-review yung audit. So, hindi ko pa po masabi ngayon, Mr. Chair. Nasa auditors pa po. Uh, meron, mer meron pa po bang ibang pondo na, na aside from the confidential fund na inyo pong inibisigahan? Uh, sa sa ICFAO po, uh, confidential and intelligence fund lang po kami. Ayun ah, lang po ang inyo inibisigahan? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, yung yun lang po ang bansa po. Oo. Oh, Nakikita ko nga, ikaw yung intelligence and confidential fund ka lang muna. No? Yes, Mr. So, meron bang iba dito na, na kasama natin sa COA na iniimbisigahan pa ang ibang mga pondo ng Office of Vice President maliban sa intelligence and confidential fund? 
uh, Your Honor, if I may, uh, we have the regular audit team which we are representing here. Regular audit team for the Office of the Vice President. Our team is here. Hello. So, Therefore, uh, this officer chair, uh, when you speak of the regular budget of the vice president, so are you able? Where are you in issue? The, did you issue any notice of disallowances on some of the uh, regular funding of the vice president or no? May I recognize Mr. Mr. Chair? Yes, uh, uh, for the audit of CY calendar year 2023, we have not yet issue or we, we do not issue any uh, disallowances. Po. Chairman. Yes, Congressman uh, Pagano. Uh, in relation to the query asked by, ano, by okay. Vice Chair Abante, uh, gusto ko na po linawin ko ah, kasi ang tanong ni Chairman Abante refers to, and your answer, I think now if I'm right, refers to other items. Kasi Tapos na kayo eh. Doon sa notice of disallowance, di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Tapos na kayo doon. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yung, yung sagot mo kanina, question of notice of suspension, uh, at yung... saka, magkaiba yun. Yes, Mr. Ibang items yun. Ibang... Linawin na natin, but yung the ibang... subject, sandali po, let me finish first. But the subject matter of this investigation refers to the notice of disallowances that you issued, di ba? Magkaiba yun, boss. Tapos na sila. Tapos na sila dito. They're waiting for the reply. Within six months. Appeal po, Mr. Chair. Uh, and uh, the deadline will be on? February 2024. Oh, yun. Uh, again, February Mr. Chair, I have pointed this out during the previous hearing. Pag EUM kasi, okay, you issue an EUM for the Confidential and Intelligence Fund for the Office of the Vice President. Nag-issue kayo ng EUM and they're allowed? 15 days. 15 days. Answer. After 15 days, you validate the, the, the reply, then you issued a notice, notice of disallowance. Of notice and of suspension. A notice of suspension, if continuing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma now, then after that, you issue a notice of disallowance. Yes, Mr. Okay, Mr. now. Kaya ang sagot dapat doon sa tanong ni Chairman Abante, tapos na kayo. As, of, as to yung ND po, Mr. Kaya Chairman. nga eh. Kaya nga eh, kasi okay. subject matter dito is all about the notice of disallowance. Okay. And we will talk about it again. If somebody will will file a resolution uh, to further investigate on the point that you have raised with regards to the three items that is not yet final. Uh, yung ano nyo, yung audit nyo, di ba? Uh, with regards to Confidential and Intelligence Fund. Yes, Tama? Mr. Chair. Yes, so, Mr. Chair. Po yun. That's why uh, in AW legislation with regards to this investigation, Mr. Chairman, again, I would just like to reiterate yung question of the timetable given to the agency with regards to the notice of disallowance is too long. Sabi nga nga, justice delayed, justice denied. Why it will take six months? Sige nga, bakit six months? Because they have already submitted all the necessary documents and it turned out in your investigation, in your audit, lumalabas na may mga problema. That's why you issue a notice of disallowance. Diba? Kaya nga, kaya nga, Mr. Chairman, I hope a question of the charter or MCs, no? Or even the, a bill or a law should be passed with regards to confidential and intelligence fund, Mr. Chairman, should be filed and passed by this Congress. Kasi, kaya nga ang question of, uh, question daw ng proprietedness of this investigation, Sa case lang po ng Confidential Intelligence Fund, we have to file a bill and pass a law with regards to it so that it cannot be abused anymore. And only those agencies of government that will be given such fund. And second is question of the COA, the mandate of COA. It should not be six months after issuing a notice of disallowance. It should be put as part of the provision of the charter or the mandate of COA, Mr. Chairman. Well, in fact, I will discuss later. Siguro na kapagandaan nyo na yung Memorandum Circular 97-002 in relation to the mandate of BTR, in relation to Special Cash Advancement, in relation to SDOs. Eh, yung, yun yung mga bagay na dapat we have to legislate laws. Kasi kahit yung bonding law natin, napatak napakatagal na yun. Di ba? And Memorandum Circulars lang ang pinapalabas natin. 
Eh, bak, may issue pa doon sa Salem. And I will discuss it later. But again, Mr. Chairman, just to point it out and for the record, question of notice of disallowance with regards to the confidential fund being tackled in this uh, rest or in this uh, uh, killing was already settled. The question now is yung six months. Tama po? And uh, you just wait. Because we have, uh, again, if somebody will stand to deliver a privileged speech or file a resolution with regards to the continuing audit being made by your department, don't sa confidential intelligence fund, and that's the time we will discuss again the three items you have mentioned. Tama? Tama po, Mr. Chair. Uh, Na-confuse lang po ako kasi for the past how many hearings, ini-include po sa, ini-include po sila kasi yung nagtatanong tungkol dun sa subsequent uh, AOMs. Kaya po, yun po yung nas nasabi ko. And we cannot discuss it because the chairman of this, uh, of the the privileged speech of the Honorable Valeriano is all about the documents you have submitted, the notice of disallowance. Tama? Uh, hindi lang po yun yung pinasubmit sa amin, Mr. Chair. Even uh, 2023 po, pinasubmit sa amin. And then, but the, uh, is it part of now, the committee, uh, the, the COA audit report that you have submitted? Uh, it is part of the notice of disallowance that is being issued by a, COA? It's a different period. Oh, kaya nga eh. Kaya nga sabi ko, we will discuss lang muna with the guys na notice of disallowance. Yes, Mr. Uh, which is, uh, mamaya, mamaya, uh, uh, magtatanong din ako dyan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Congressman Abante, you're right. Uh, with the query of uh, Congressman Paduano, and your answer of being able to finish all the investigations. And you said that uh, medyo na confused ka lamang, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, uh, you, you're telling it to us now with finality that all of the investigations for the Confidential Intelligence Fund of the Vice President is already finished. Is that what you're saying? No, Mr. Chair. Uh, yung 2022 lang po, ang ND, yun na po yung last na touch ng ICFAO po. Yung 2023 po ng OVP at 2023 ng DepEd are, yun po yung ongoing ang audit. Ah, so meron pong ongoing na investigation on that. Yes, Mr. Chair. Kaya okay. po sabi po ni uh, Mr. Chair na ano, uh, yung ND lang po ang i-discuss. Kasi yung iba po, sab uh, sabi po niya, uh, ongoing po po yung audit. So you're, you're giving that six months, no? Uh, the finished investigation and the ongoing investigation, six months, ganun po ba? Uh, no, Mr. Chair, yung six months is for the notice of disallowance po, uh, which is nasa rules po namin. Uh, Mr. Chairman, six months for the office of the Vice President to comply and answer that uh, notice comply. of disallowance. Uh -oh. And then, commission paper na. To, the commission to paper, appeal po. Sorry? To appeal po, yung proper time. Ayun, ayun, appeal, appeal, di ba? Uh -huh. Then the commission paper after six months, they will rule on it po. Pero, Mr. Yeah. Chair, uh, uh, ang sinabi niya kanina, natapos na yung 2022. Di ba? Yun po yung ang ongoing ngayon ND. is 2023 and 2024. Wala so, pong 2024. So therefore, ano yung sinasabi niyong six months na notice of disallowances na kinocomply dapat ng Vice President? Uh, yung uh, confidential funds po ng uh, 2022 ng OVP, uh, umabot na po siya sa notice of disallowance. So, from the time that we issued the notice of disallowance, they have six months po to file their appeal with the commission proper ng COA. Yung iba pong dinidiscuss natin pertains to uh, confidential funds ng 2023 po. Hindi pa po yon notice of disallowance. Na AOM pa lang po siya. Kaya, uh, hindi pa po siya comparable dun sa ND ng 2022 na subject to appeal na po. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Congressman Ako uh, made a statement kanina about uh, cash advances that was made. You know? So, uh, let me ask, uh, ilang cash advances yun na ginawa nila? Uh, one, two, seven, uh, apat po sa Office of the Vice President and tatlo po sa DepEd. And all of those are deposited sa Land Bank, correct? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, Land Bank, uh, did you allow cash advances? Do you allow cash advances? Sino po ang sasagot is sa that, is, that, is, that, is that one of the rules you allow cash advances? AVP? 
Ampo Sano, you are recognized. Mr. Chair, may be recognized, please. Yes, uh, Attorney Rafael Yap, you are recognized. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to apologize, but uh, we'd like to manifest that we cannot answer the question right now because um, we were still uh, we received the invite to attend today's hearing uh, after 4 p.m. yesterday. So uh, we beg the committee's indulgence to allow us to uh, provide the info once we collate and uh, cleared po sa aming uh, office. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion for uh, Land Bank to submit to us all the information on the cast advances made by the Office of the Vice President. Can you please do that, Mr. Chair? So we will provide, Mr. Chair, we will provide the info uh, after uh, once we uh, once cleared na po sa aming office po. But once again, Mr. Chair, uh, the, my question was not actually answered. My question is, do you allow cash advances? Chairman, Chairman, Congressman Padwano. And I Mr. Chairman, of course, uh, uh, cash advancement. At all. Cash advancement for the OBP will not be a, a subject of uh, decision for the land bank. But the uh, siguro tanong is, do you allow uh, check in casements? Do you allow? Eh, yes. It's just a matter of policy. Do you allow? Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, yes. Yung check in casement. But cash advances, of not course. Cash advances. No, check in casements. So you allow? Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, ma Ano, Chairman? <laughs> anyway, man, may mga tanong pa ako kasi ang nakasusunod din si uh, Kong Mika pa. Ma Mika Swan Singh. Uh, the next interpolator is Congress Congresswoman. Thank you, Congressman Abante. Re I fully agree with Congresswoman Luis Tro and Congressman Defensor on what they said. Ano? Eh, ito po ay pinapanood ng taong bayan na kinakailangan maunawaan po nila na itong pondong ito, whether confidential po ito o hindi, eh nagastos na po ito. Hindi pa ito gagastusin. Nagastos na po ito eh. Ang nais nating malaman kung paano ito nagastos. Tungkulin po natin yan sa kumiting ito na alamin upang malaman po ng taong bayan na yung paggastos po ng pondo na nanggaling sa mga taxpayers ay tama at naayon sa mandato na ibinigay sa office ng pangalawang pangulo. Kaya nga po iniimbitahan natin itong mga taong ito na nakakaalam ng mga pondong ito. Ako naman po eh medyo naaawa na rin sa ating uh, members ng COE na naririndi na sa mga katanungan natin. Eh talagang dapat eh pumunta na po ito. Kaya gusto ko rin i-air ang warning na ito muli. Ha? Pag hindi pa sila nagpunta ha? sa pang, pang limang pagkakataon, eh ako na po ay eh, magmo-motion to, uh, to uh, issue a contempt order on them. Maraming maraming salamat po, Mr. Chair. Ngayon, ikaw bilang Pilipino, ano ang masasabi mo at reaksyon sa balitang ito? Mag-iwang ka ng komento sa ibaba at atin pong babasahin isa-isa.